We, have, we really do have a great show tonight. Colin yeah. Farrell, that's one of the hottest stars in the world, seriously. He's, that guy has uh, those dark Irish good looks that women go crazy for. I was blessed with the goofy leprechaun <laughs> Irish looks. Has anyone ever noticed that? Oh, I wouldn't say, but you know. Colin Farrell's got that. There are two kind of Irish people. There's the Colin Farrell, it like, doesn't matter, you know what I mean? Wake him up in the middle of the night, whatever, toss him in mud. Always looks amazing. Just a really good, cool piercing. And then there's my kind that's like, how you doing, everybody? <laughs> how do you know, do you know? <laughs> That should be good. How are you? <laughs> oh, man. All right. So much to talk about tonight. We gotta talk about Geely, everybody. We just do. We have to. I think that's why most people tuned in tonight was to find out what's going on with Geely. <laughs> people all over the country are like, I wanna find out what's going on with Geely. Let's tune into Conan. The, uh, the movie Geely, uh, starring Ben Affleck and J-Lo, opened this weekend. Ladies and gentlemen, it's an unmitigated disaster. <laughs> it just is. I think it earned $11. $11, and uh, it's been a traumatic experience for the movie's stars, producers, and the American public in general. We've all been traumatized, and I thought we'd examine the Gili phenomenon tonight. In a little bit, we're gonna call Coping with Gili. <laughs> All the theaters you know they're empty so i'm singing you the song the critics hated nobody seen it oh geely what went wrong oh geely how could you do it how did you manage to suck so bad i haven't been so disappointed since they canceled me to dad oh geely oh geely That's fine, Pender. Pender, that's fine. Pender. It's called Ridlin, Pender, all right? They put it right in your trumpet. You'll go right to sleep. Where were we? Oh, yeah, Gili. Ben and J-Lo are getting a lot of flack right now for Gili, but if you think about it, to be fair, quite a few famous Hollywood couples have teamed up to make disastrous movies. It's true. Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall made Monkey University. That was a <laughs> film that went nowhere. <laughs> then there was Spencer Tracy, Katherine Hepburn's flop, This Chili's Terrific. That wasn't a good one. We all remember when Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman teamed up for That's My Gaddafi. <laughs> These did so well at rehearsal. Hollywood's first gay power couple, John Wayne and Marty Feldman, made the notorious bomb two plus two equals ouch. <laughs> and who could forget the Mikhail and Riza Gorbachev debacle, can't get out of this tub too comfortable. <laughs> that was sucked. All right. Uh... <laughs> A great crowd tonight, we're going great. I show those audiences like, no! <laughs> Michael Jackson's gonna get into boys' pants. <laughs> I gave you that like three minutes ago and you gave it away? Gave it to somebody else. Yeah. yeah, right. Forget it. No. No, forget it. I just gave him that. That's what a high caliber celebrity I am. I give him like, hey, here, you can have this on national TV. Thanks a lot, Conan O'Brien. Here, you want that? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Couldn't get in to see Regis, all right. <laughs> all right, what's the sketch? Oh yeah, Gili. Okay. <laughs> Of course, many movies suffer bad reviews and negative word of mouth, but Geely has sparked an entire new phenomenon. If you don't know what I'm talking about, watch this. Drugs are bad. Drugs can cost you your friends, 
your possessions, your family, your life. But drugs, they ain't nothing compared to Gili. Don't be stupid. Don't see Gili. That's pretty bad. Why is NBC sponsoring us? I don't know. Folks, Gili is so bad that the movie-going public has demanded an apology from Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez. That's true. Now, I thought they could issue their apologies right here on my late-night show, but for some reason, they weren't interested. <laughs> so here to apologize on their behalf are our script intern, Elon, who kind of looks like Ben Affleck, and our resident J-Lo cleaning lady, Judy Lowenstein. Yeah, sorry. He does look like Ben Affleck. All right, uh, for all the needling uh, we're giving Gili tonight, I have to admit something. I actually saw the movie, and I thought that there were five really strong and memorable moments. Five. <laughs> and here they are. It soothes you down. You don't have a book. She thinks I'm beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> you know, in spite of those five great moments, I have to say one of the biggest weaknesses I noticed was the supporting cast. For example, the role of Ben Affleck's mother was supposed to be played by a sassy Italian woman I don't think the actress they got pulled it off. Check it out. What? I want to meet your mother. <laughs> no. Come on, Larry. Invite your friends in. Let them meet your mother. <laughs> You know, the failure of Gili has the producers of another summer blockbuster extremely worried. Their movie comes out this weekend, and from what I hear, it's a masterpiece compared to Gili. It's really supposed to be a great movie. Unfortunately, its name is very close to Gili. And uh, they worry, the makers of this new movie, they worry that it, too, may be ignored. So I thought we'd do the producers a favor and give them some free publicity for their brand new movie. So sit back and enjoy this clip from the upcoming Giggly. Don't try to figure it out. It meant nothing. <laughs> and finally, Gili's failure at the box office is obviously horrible news for the movie studio that put it out. But it is even worse news for the private investors who sunk their money into the movie and have lost everything. Let's meet the poor sap who put up most of the $54 million budget for Gili, former heavyweight champion Mike Tyson. Let's get him in here. Hello there, Mike. How's it going, Conan? Uh, Mike. Mike, you must be devastated. You had already lost your entire $400 million fortune, your $20 million in debt, and now Gili is a flop, too. Conan, Gili's down, but it's not out. There, there's still time for a comeback. It's gonna get up off the canvas, knock out American Wedding, bite the ear off Pirates of the Caribbean, and rape Little Nemo. Of course, it'll deny that rape later in court. Uh, Mike, come on. Gili is not going to come back. It's a turkey. That's right. A powerful rampaging turkey with rabies that gobbles up the competition. No, 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 Mike. No, no, no. Just a regular turkey. A regular turkey that at night assumes a secret identity, gets good word of mouth, and does well overseas. No, Mike. <laughs> Mike, you're kidding yourself. But we all do feel bad about you losing all your money. It's bad, Conan. I, I had to sell all my Ferraris. Melt down my solid gold statue of Bruce Hornsby. Uh, my tigers don't have TVs in their cages anymore. And worst of all, I even had to sell my muscles. Huh? Oh, my God! 
I feel like a black olive oil. All right, thank you very much. Mike Tyson, everybody. The movie's Geely. Let's everyone come back. Colin Farrell's here. Stick around.